Astron Omega-1 engine is a technology born from the concept of a turbine engine, a technology that is expected to revive the concept of rotary engines in the automotive world. Because the engine we discussed in this video is an engine with a micro size, but it has an output power that is classified as a macro. So here, we will discuss how the concept of this engine works. Now let's go straight into the discussion without lingering on it. It's been more or less 70 years since Chrysler was the first to discover and develop a gas turbine engine. A technology that really dominates the sky but cannot be utilized optimally in two-wheeled and four-wheeled vehicles. For a bit of history, Chrysler developed this turbine engine in the early 1950s with a high sense of optimism. However, for some reason, the development of this engine was stopped when it produced the 55th prototype car. It's a shame, but this engine had to stop being developed. The reason was not other than the Euro regulation, which did not allow turbine engines to pass, plus so many other external problems occurred during this engine's development. But even though the turbine engine itself has never really been published and mass-produced for land vehicles, there is also a startup company that dares to develop the concept of a rotary engine taken from a turbine engine. It can even challenge EV machines. That's brave. The company is called Astron Aerospace. A company that dares to set foot in the automotive world brings its engine concept, which will be very interesting for us to discuss. But, even though they are present as a new light in the world of transportation, this company cannot be underestimated either. Because they are a company that focuses on turbine engines. We can see this from its name, Astron Aerospace, which is this Astron company brilliant, considering they have the aerospace frill but dare to venture into ground transportation. So, their prototype engine will stand in two markets simultaneously, land and air transportation. Other than that, Astron itself claimed land and air transportation. This engine can also enter the industrial and sea transportation fields. So, the engine we are discussing is Omega-1, which all of you have seen via the thumbnail. The engine combines the working mechanism of a conventional engine design and a turbine engine design. What is certain, the working mechanism of this engine will interpret the old-school machine that has been beaten by the Euro World 2, namely the rotary engine. But of course, the advantage of this Omega-1 engine concept will be present without the apex seal. Okay, now how does it work? As we can see, this engine uses a pair of gears as the most critical part, and the other moving parts are arranged behind the two gears, where everything is based on a pair of crankshafts. For example, here we will see the presence of two pairs of rotors, red and blue, which will work with different functions. A pair of blue rotors will work as intake rotors, whose job is to suck air from the atmosphere into the engine and compress it. And a pair of red rotors function as a place for combustion and perform exhaust. The working step starts when a tooth profile in the intake section moves through an intake manifold. And in this section, the air will be driven and compressed. However, along with this, the rear profile gear will also work to create a vacuum and suck air to re-enter the room. Furthermore, the air in front of the profile gear will be compressed in the intake port. And at the same time, fuel will be supplied directly to the engine in the pre-chamber. After the red rotor gear profile has passed through the pre-chamber, the air and fuel mixture will move into the open space in the red rotor. And in this room also occurs the process of ignition. This step, of course, will turn into an expansion step that will push the profile gear on the exhaust rotor to move all the moving parts. Now, from the previous system, can you guess or not? Does this engine go to four-stroke or two-stroke? Considering that this engine doesn't have any steps from the piston, many undoubtedly need clarification about the type and configuration of the engine. For the answer, easily, this Omega-1 engine is still included in a four-stroke engine. But what distinguishes it is the steps that occur in two separate rooms. So what do you think? Is this engine simpler or more complicated than a reciprocating engine? And the next question is, what are the advantages of this engine compared to a reciprocating engine? If according to Astro himself, the advantages of their product are of course, a lot. The first ad tangents, Astron claimed Omega-1 it was to be more compact. Yes, of course, we compare this engine to a car engine with the same power output or maybe the supercars, and the hyperbike will be far off the mark. 
So naturally, in this condition, the Omega-1 engine will be superior because the difference between the four-cylinder engines is far more with the same power output. But what is unmistakable as its most significant advantage is the working mechanism of the Omega-1 engine. It will be lighter because there is no need to press the spring anymore. Continue for the second advantage, which is lighter. This engine has a weight of around 15.6 kilograms and can produce an output power of 160 horsepower and 230 newton meter of torque. The idle is at 1,000 revolutions per minute, and the red line is at 25,000 revolutions per minute, where an achievement its very high red line. And if stuck into two engines simultaneously, this machine can generate power up to 320 horsepower and 460 newton meter of torque. And can you still imagine if Astron made this engine into eight rotors or the equivalent of a four-cylinder engine? Obviously, this engine is going to be super brutal. And even more incredible, the advantage of these three machines, they can produce a thermal efficiency level of up to 80%, 250% greater than the reciprocating engine, where the thermal efficiency level is only 34%, but unfortunately, we don't have any information about the engine capacity itself. But the most important thing is that this engine is not like the old ones, such as the D-Cycle, Duke engine, and others, which ended up as mere concept engines. This engine has been designed and is ready to become a reality. What's more, the funding for this engine has been fulfilled, and the patent has also been made. And for the rest, it's just a matter of finding a company willing to buy the license, either from the automotive or aeronautical sectors, but of all these things, there's only one problem that this engine must face. That is the level of precision between the rotor and housing, which depends on materials that can work in many conditions and environmental temperatures. But, if Astron can overcome this main problem, the era of electric cars will be temporarily delayed again with the presence of the Omega-1 engine on the market. And brap brap on ready. Or, maybe it's Omega-1 that sank before it shined because the era of electric cars had already begun. Or it could also be that the two are combined between an electric machine and this Omega-1. Okay, there's one more thing that makes this engine so cool. Whereas Astron Omega-1 is not just an ordinary internal combustion engine. The parent company claims hydrogen fuel is allowed and is likely to be near zero emission. And you know what makes this even more beautiful? Mazda turns out to have glanced at the design of this one engine. And when we talk about Mazda and rotary engines, there is a strong issue too. At the beginning of the early year, there was a patent application from the Hiroshima Car Company. To be exact, a patent for a rear-drive coupe powered by three rotor engines and a hybrid system. Mazda RX-9 could that be you? Okay, now we are back to the core of our main topic. Astron also claims this engine can work up to 100,000 more hours until it needs maintenance. And the maintenance fee is also relatively much cheaper because we can compare it with a four-cylinder engine with far more moving parts. Well, it's like we are taking care of a one-cylinder engine with four-cylinder power. But the difference in fuel will be enough to fill maintenance costs. Remember, there will be a significant gap in thermal efficiency of up to 150%, between 34% for reciprocating and 80% for Omega-1. That's crazy. Since we are here talking from the perspective of automotive enthusiasts, we may only remember cars and motorbikes. But in fact, it needs to be underlined. Astron said Omega-1 could use this engine in all fields, not just land transportation. There are cars, motorbikes, planes, ships, power plants, heavy equipment, then chargers for electric motorbikes. And even more incredible, for industrial specifications. Astron claimed they could push this machine up to 33-35 kW. Okay, that's a little information we can give in this video. Compared to other machines we have discussed, this machine is the most interesting especially if you can collaborate with electric engines. What's your opinion? As usual, feel free to enliven the comments column below. I'm Carrier and see you later.